The following video is an excerpt from Nutrition Detectives, a classroom program supported in part through an unrestricted educational grant from Juice Plus. There is one whole class of foods that you don't even need nutrition detective skills for. We've been talking about them throughout, because I've asked you what the ingredients are in an orange, Angela, and you told me. It's an orange. It's an orange. And uh, Brianna, I asked you about banana, and you told me the ingredient is? Banana. Banana. And <laughs> Austin, the ingredients in lettuce are? Lettuce. lettuce? OK, exactly. Fruits and vegetables. And, and to some extent whole grains. These are natural foods. The package is just the skin or the peel. That's all there is to it. So you should try to make fruits and vegetables a part of your diet every day. Now you can just eat bananas and apples and oranges and grapes and broccoli, but there are ways to add a rainbow of fruits and vegetables to your diet every day so you can be sure that you fit them in to your healthy diets. You want to see how to do that? Because yeah. I have a special yeah. rainbow bean, too. I'm going to show you how to add a rainbow of fruits and vegetables to your diet. Come on up here. All right. So, for example, let's say we have a bowl of cereal, right? Just your basic bowl of cereal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's good, especially if it's a whole grain cereal. But we can do even better. We could add a rainbow of fruits to that cereal. How's that look? Pretty yeah. good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, tastes even be better. Easy. And we can do the same thing with vegetables. So let's, for example, take a look at the pizza. Just your basic plain pizza, right? But we can do much better than that. We can add a rainbow here, too. So let's do it. And add all those veggies. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, you know, fruits and vegetables are great for us to eat. And you, you can eat them plain. You just have fruit or have a salad. But it's great when you can add them to food you already like. I like pizza. How about you guys? Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally. Totally. Right. Totally. But if we can add a rainbow of veggies to our pizza, we can love the pizza and it'll love us back. And that's the nutrition detective's way to do it, right? right. Yeah. Let's go sit down. So lots of ways to add fruits and veggies to our diet. And that's all great. But we know that a lot of the foods that we're going to eat every day come in bags, boxes, bottles, jars, and cans. And we need to use our five clues to figure out which of those we should take and which of those we should leave behind. Now we're going to put them to use. I want you guys to come with me on a nutrition safari. Sound good? Yeah. Everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, so here we are. We've, we've materialized right in the middle of a nutrition safari. I brought Gabe with us again. Nice to see you, Gabe. And you know, safaris can be a little bit dangerous. You never know what you're going to run into. So I brought reinforcements. My wife, Catherine, who helped develop the Nutrition Detectives program, in case we run into any especially tricky clues, she can help us out. Now, as we work our way through this nutrition landscape, we're going to encounter all five clues. Let's start with clue number one. All right, everybody, we're going to start our safari with clue number one. Now, the symbol for Nutrition Detectives clue number one is a magnifying glass. Gabriel, what is clue number one? Don't be fooled by the advertisements on the front, but go to the nutrition facts on the back. Excellent answer. A Nutrition Detective isn't fooled by what's on the front of the package. We know you've got to go where the facts are, the Nutrition Facts panel and the ingredient list. And sometimes those tell a very different story from what's on the front. So we look at this ingredient list, and we see there's no orange juice in this orange juice. Zero percent juice. Right. juice. That's right. Juice. Hey, that's orange right. Juice. Here we are ready to deal with clue number two. And the symbol for nutrition detective clue number two is that mama duck at the head of the line of ducklings. Angela, what is clue number two? The first ingredient is the biggest. Exactly. The food is mostly made out of that first ingredient. Let's take a look and see what that means here. Now, if we look for the mama duck on this ingredient list, we see that the first ingredient is sugar. 
that would be okay if this were a candy, but this is a breakfast cereal. You're really not supposed to have candy for breakfast, are you? Man, that's a lot of sugar. Wow. All right, everybody. Here we are at clue number three. Now, the symbol for nutrition detectives, clue number three, is that sneaky fingers the fox. Brianna, what is clue number three? It's the one that helps you spot out the ingredients that aren't supposed to be in your food. That's right, those suspicious ingredients that can hide in an ingredient list, just like fingers can try to hide in a crowd. But we know what he looks like. We can find him. We can find those sneaky ingredients, too, can't we? So let's see if we can find fingers the fox in this ingredient list. They're jumping out at me, partially hydrogenated oil. You know what to do when you see that. Step away from the box, and nobody will get hurt. All right, everybody, here we are now at clue number four. Now, the symbol for nutrition detectives, clue number four, is the long neck of the giraffe. Austin, what is clue number four? Clue number four is the longer the list, the less healthy it is for you. Absolutely, generally true. The longer that ingredient list, the more stuff hides in there that we don't really want to eat. A nutrition detective is usually looking for a shorter ingredient list. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. Boy, this ingredient list almost runs right off the page, doesn't it? A nutrition detective knows what to do with this. Look for something better. Home stretch now. Here we are at clue number five. Now, the symbol for nutrition detectives, clue number five, is that wolf disguised in grandma's clothing. Dominic, what is clue number five? Clue number five is that you should look for a whole grain and look out for a whole grain imposter. Excellent. And one of the best ways to do that is to remember that fiber is our friend, and that may help us tell the difference. And Catherine, you help us out as we look over here. Where do we look for the fiber on this product? Now, I have a little trick for you guys. You see those two big black lines right there? And you see a percent sign? You guys know what a percent sign looks like. Yeah. yeah. Right. Sure. Okay. Definitely. Look at the first one and go zoop to the last zoop. one. Zoop. You see okay. it? Yeah. You got to do zoop. Zoop. <laughs> zoop. zoop all the way to the last percent sign. And right there, there is dietary fiber. Look what it is. Uh what oh. should it be if it's a whole Not grain? Two whole two grains. Two, 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 two exactly. grams or more, right? But that one? Nah, that no. one. No. 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 Hey, great job. We've been through all five clues. Come on. Hey, hey. Now, we're, we're in a very different part of the nutrition landscape now. Ryan, you see any confusing nutrition labels around here? Nope. Not at all. Neither do I. Here, it looks like you can make some pretty good choices. Coco, what do you think of these foods? Well, I think these are very healthy foods. Absolutely. You know how we look for a short ingredient list? Well, the shortest ingredient list of all is just one word. Those kinds of foods that come direct from nature. You look around here, you see a lot of those. Fruits, vegetables, we've got some whole grains. These are wonderful foods. And when you're here, it's pretty hard to get lost. But for all those other food choices where you can go wrong, you use the five clues of a nutrition detective and you'll never get lost. And one more important thing to remember, the reason why all of this matters so much, you want to be healthy. You want to have energy. Having lots of energy lets you do the things you love to do. Healthy people have more fun. Make good choices. Help your family make good choices. As a nutrition detective, you have the power to do that. Thank you very much for joining us. The preceding video was an excerpt from Nutrition Detectives, a classroom program supported in part through an unrestricted educational grant from Juice Plus. For information on how you can obtain the complete Nutrition Detectives video for your classroom, free of charge, please visit www.nutritiondetectives.com.